There's a brand new trend rapidly exploding right now, and hardly anyone on YouTube is talking about it. This trend started on TikTok, where one creator grew to around 150,000 followers in just a few weeks, with videos pulling in millions of views. Then another creator put their own spin on it, but instead of using babies, he used animals. And that account shot past half a million followers, with nearly every upload going viral. But here's where it gets really interesting. On YouTube, this niche is almost untouched. I could only find a few channels posting these videos, but one of them has already turned the idea into singing and dancing animals. And get this, that single channel has grown to over 600,000 subscribers and over 300 million views. So here's what I'm going to do. In this video, I'm giving you the step-by-step -step process to make videos like these. And the best part is that you don't need any previous experience and you don't need to spend weeks learning the entire process. That's because I found a tool that makes this whole process way easier for you. And it's so easy to use that you'll be able to create videos like these in just a few minutes. The tool I'm talking about is called Kling AI. And in a second, I'll show you exactly how to use it to start building your own channel in this up and coming niche. To start off, go ahead and open Kling, which you can find the link in the description below. Now this is the main page of Kling where you'll find everything you need. And just below that, there's a section with several features. For this tutorial, we'll be using the avatar feature. So go ahead and open it. Once you're in, on the left side, you'll find all the settings you can use. And here you have everything you need. To start off, you can upload your own image of an avatar, which in our case is a baby. Next, you can also use the AI image feature to create a custom avatar. And as you can see, you can customize every detail of it. Now in my case, I'll be using the avatar library, which offers multiple templates to choose from. And this way, we don't need to spend extra time creating a custom one. Now the good thing is that the library already has a few baby templates that look really good, so feel free to use the one you like the most. In my case, I'll use this one since I like how it looks. To use the avatar, simply click on the avatar you prefer, and it will be automatically added to the menu on the left. Once you've chosen an avatar for your video, you'll notice a field where you can enter a script to generate the lip sync. But since we're making a music video, we don't need that. Instead, we'll upload our own music track. So now let me show you how to create one that really stands out. To start off, open a new session in ChatGPT and tell it that you want to create a rap song using Suno. Then, simply ask it to generate lyrics and a music style. Once that's done, click Generate. And after the process finishes, ChatGPT will provide you with lyrics made for a rap song, along with a style you can use to create the music track. Now to create the music track, we'll be using Suno. So go ahead and open it. Once you're in, open the Create feature and enter the lyrics you generated in ChatGPT. Then, in the Style section right below, enter the exact style from ChatGPT. Once everything is ready, simply click on the Create button below, and the generation process will begin. It usually takes around 20 seconds, and when it's done, you'll see two music tracks based on the details you entered. Finally, choose the one you like best and download it by clicking the download button. Now that your music track is ready, go back into Kling and upload it into the speech section below. Keep in mind that this feature allows audio up to one minute long, so make sure to trim your track to around one minute before you upload it. Right below that, you will find the avatar prompt section where you can customize your avatar. You'll already have one pre-made for you, but in my case, I'll enter a prompt describing the exact movements of the baby. Basically, I've included details about about how the baby behaves, what he's doing, and a few notes on camera movement. You can also find all of the prompts I'm using in my free Telegram channel linked in the description, so feel free to copy each of the prompts from there. Now that everything is ready, in the quality settings below you have two options to choose from. I'll set it to 1080p for a clean, high quality video. Right next to that, you can customize the output number, which is basically how many videos you want to generate. In this case, I'll set it to one video. Now to generate the video, click the generate button below, and the process will start. It usually takes a few minutes, and once it's done, your video will be finally ready. So now, let's see how it came out. City lights flicker, shadows dance on the concrete, sipping on the moon, taste bitter, it's a long street, echoes in the alley, whispers of a lost feet, crime on the souls, chasing what they call sweet. As you can see, the video came out really well. The lip sync matches the lyrics perfectly, the baby's movements are natural and accurate, and the overall quality is high, but I didn't play the whole video because our music video isn't finished yet. That's why next, I'll show you how to generate multiple consistent scenes with the same baby and turn them into a full music video with several different scenes. Now to generate the scenes, you first need a reference image. And since we're using this avatar right here, simply download the same image from here 
and you'll be good to go. Next, in the menu on the left, you'll find the image generator tool, so go ahead and open it. Here you'll need to use the image reference feature, and right below that you will find the face consistency feature, which is the one we'll use. So now, start by uploading the image of your avatar, and once it's done, the tool will automatically select the avatar's face. Next, below that, you'll find reference strength, which you should set to around 70% for the best results. Once that's done, right below you will find the prompt section, where you need to enter a prompt to create the image. In my case, I'll enter a prompt to create an image of a baby with the same face as the reference, wearing an iced out chain and watch, sitting in the passenger seat of a car. Feel free to use the prompt I'm using, or you can create your own one if you like. Below that is the aspect ratio section, where you can choose between different ratios. Since we're making a short form video, we'll go with 9 by 16. Next to that are the output settings, which I'll set to 4. Once everything is ready, click the generate button below to start the process. This process usually takes around 15 seconds, and once it's done just like that, we have a set of four images featuring the same baby we used before, but this time, sitting in a car and fully iced out. Now, if you don't like how the images turned out, you can click on the generate button again to create a new set of four images. Once you're happy with the images, choose the one you like most and download it by clicking the download button. And with that, you'll be ready for the next step. Now, once you have created an image with the same avatar as a reference, head back into the avatar section and start by importing the image you just created. Once the image is imported, right below it you'll need to upload the same music track as before, so simply click on the upload button here and add it. After the track is uploaded, in the avatar prompt section you'll see a prompt automatically created for you, but I'll still use a custom prompt, which explains how the baby should move and where to look. It's pretty simple, and you can copy the same prompt I'm using to get the best results. Next, in the quality section below, choose the same quality setting as before, and for the output setting, I'll leave it as one so we don't waste credits. Once everything is set, click on the generate button below and the process will start. The generation process will be the same as before, so expect it to take a few minutes. Once it's done, as you can see, we've just created a video using the new avatar scene we made, so now let's finally see how it turned out. City lights flicker, shadows dance on the concrete Sipping on the moon, taste bitter, it's a long street Echoes in the alley, whispers of a lost feet Crime on the souls, chasing what they call sweet as you can see, this video came out really good as well. The lip sync matches perfectly with the lyrics, the baby's movements are smooth without any imbalances, and the overall quality is high, which is exactly what we need. So now that our second video is ready, let's finally move on to creating a third one, which we'll then use to put together the full music video. To create the third video, the steps are pretty much the same as before. First, open the image generator tool, then select image reference and use the face reference feature. Upload the same image we used before, and once it's done, the face will be automatically selected selected for you. Next, set the reference strength to around 70%, same as before. Below that, in the avatar prompt section, I'll enter a prompt to create an image of the same baby reference, fully iced out, but this time standing in the middle of a street party. Once that's done, make sure the aspect ratio is set to 9 by 16, and for the output settings, you can leave it at 4, which is more than enough. Finally, click on the generate button below, and the process will begin. Now the generation process will take about the same time as before, around 15 to 20 seconds, and once it's done, as easy as that, we have a set of four new images that all include the same avatar we've been using. Looking at them closely, you can see the characters are pretty consistent and all the details match our prompt. Finally, once all of the images are ready, simply choose the image you like most and download it using the button right here. So now that our third image is ready, go into the avatar feature on the left side and start by importing the image you just created. Once the image is imported, in the speech section below, upload the same music track you used before by clicking the upload button. After that, you'll see a prompt automatically created for you, but I'll use a custom prompt that briefly explains where the baby should look and how it should act. Next, in the quality settings, make sure to choose the same quality as before, and for the output settings, I'll leave it at 1. Once everything is set, click the generate button below and the process will begin. Now just to save some time, I'll skip the generation process, and once everything is done, just like that, our third video is finally ready. So now let's see how it turned out. Lights flicker, shadows dance on the concrete Sipping on the moon, taste bitter, it's a long street Echoes in the alley, whispers of a lost feet Crime on the souls, chasing what they call sweet just as expected, the third video came out perfect. The quality is high, and the overall vibe of the video is pretty solid. So now that you've created multiple videos for the same music track, you can merge them into a full music video using any editing tool. And to save some time, I've already done that, so let's see how the final music video turned out. 
city lights flicker Shadows dance on the concrete Sipping on the moon Taste bitter, it's a long street Echoes in the alley Whispers of a lost feet Grime on the souls Chasing what they call sweet dreams Hanging heavy clouds sag like a tightrope Fingers gripping loosely Slipping through the night's hope Chasing paper planes Folding up my fight So pink stained hands Sketching out the right slope Skyline dreams, broken beats Chasing what it did now that you know how to create a full music video in the baby style, let me show you how to do the exact same thing, but this time with the viral animal characters that all of the fast-growing channels out there are using. To start off, go ahead and open the avatar feature in Kling, and then watch closely. In this step, we'll use the AI image tool to create our animal avatar, so start by opening it up. The first thing we have here is the gender, which I'll set to male. Then below that, you can customize the age of the character, which I'll leave as youth. Next, there's also a skin tone setting, but since we're creating an animal, this isn't important. Now below that, you need to enter an image generation prompt. In my case, I entered a prompt to create an image of a cat, fully iced out, standing in the middle of a rap concert. And if you don't have any prompt ideas, just copy the one I'm using and you'll be good to go. Now at the end of this menu, you'll find the aspect ratios you can choose from. I'll set it to 9 by 16 since we're creating a short form video. Once everything is ready, click the generate button below to start the process. This usually takes around 15 seconds and once it's done, just like that, we'll have a set of four images that perfectly match our prompt. When the images are ready, simply choose the one you like most. Click the Use Image button, and just like that, the image will be automatically added to the menu on the left. Now once that's done, in the speech section below, you need to upload a music track. For this one, I've created a new track just to switch things up, and I've imported it into the speech section. Next, in the Avatar Prompt section below, you can either leave the pre-made prompt or enter your own. In my case, I've entered a custom prompt explaining the movements and overall vibe of the cat. Finally, make sure to set the best quality settings along with the output number. And once everything is ready, click the generate button to start the process. Now, since this process can take a couple of minutes, while we're waiting, you can see that I've already started a few more videos with different scenes of the same cat, and you can do the same so you don't waste any time. And to save even more time in this video, I've already edited all the scenes together, so now let's finally see how the full music video came out. Yeah. Now lives on the track, ice on my collar, claws never slack. I'm that Alley King boss cat with the shine. Scratch chains heavy on my neck, watch it all align. Swagger in my step, tail swing with the flow. Crowd jumping wild when they hear me roll, let's go. Luxury watch ticking diamonds like the stage. Every round I spit, tears another page. Born in the alley, but I'm running LSD. Ain't no sight, hanging on the bears, there's no bite. As you can see, the music video came out really good, all the scenes look perfect, and it was actually very easy to create. So now that I've shown you the full process for making videos in this niche, all that's left for you is to upload them on YouTube, TikTok, or any other platform, and finally start building your own channel. And remember, consistency and hard work are the key. So if you start posting today, success will come over time. And as always, keep pushing, and I'll see you in the next one.